Hello and welcome to Practical Game Development in Unity, Level 2.1. My name is Nelson LeKay and I will be the lead programming instructor. With me is Mr. Stephen Curtis. How's it going, Steve? It's going pretty good. How about you, Nelson? It's going all right. All right, I'm ready to dive into this and uh, see some more of your programming magic. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to put together a three-dimensional Asteroids game with a bit of a twist with, with waypoints. So basically we will have the ability to move our ship around and we'll also be hitting waypoints along the way. We'll be able to shoot out these Asteroids to gain points. However, we have to hit the waypoints before the timer runs out, otherwise we will lose the game. And this waypoint is really far away. <laughs> so you're going to lose the game. Nope. I oh, got no, it. he made it. I made it. Okay, so here's our second level here. You'll notice that the speed of the game does increase depending on, uh, depending on what you set it to while you configure the game. And then when you win, you win, and you can give yourself a high score, and everything is awesome. But the point of this isn't necessarily about this particular game we put together. Instead, what we've essentially done is created the beginnings of what we're going to extend to a freelancer-like game, complete with trade lanes and multiple uh, sectors and maps and radars and enemy AI and missions and all that fun stuff. So we've kind of laid the groundwork for putting that together by putting our movement in place, our camera in place, our, some of our effects in some framework-like code so that we can more easily build upon it to create our finished product. Yeah, it's really pretty cool. Basically, we're going to build a small game, uh, kind of a two, 3D uh, Asteroids type game, if you like, but it's just the beginning framework for a much larger project that's very exciting. Yep, but we definitely did want to leave you guys with the completed product, but it will be expanded upon in the future. I can't wait to get started. Let's go. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and jump in with the basic introduction of how we can work with Git using Unity.